Hello and welcome to this video tutorial which demonstrates how data factor analysis can be made using a Samsung point file. Two different methods will be demonstrated. First one is a manual method for creating a Samsung point file in the Excel sheet or text document. The second one will show you how to use a special plugin for SketchUp and Expo sensor points. The geometry used for this example is modeled in SketchUp with the appropriate layers and materials. In order to be able to define the different grid points in a sensor point file, it's necessary to know where the origin of the model is. Therefore, the axes are turned on in SketchUp. The red line corresponds to the x-axis, the green line to the y-axis and the blue line to the z-axis. In this example, the intersection between two walls and a floor are placed at the origin. The area which needs to be investigated in terms of daylight will have to be defined by a number of grid points. This will vary from the project to project, depending on what you need to investigate. In this project, two examples are shown. Example 1, 36 grid points, and example 2, 121 grid points. We'll continue with example 2. Each of the 121 grid points must be defined by its coordinates related to the x, y, and z axis. In this example, the distance between each point is 0.5 meters in the x direction and 0.5 meters in the y direction. And all points are situated 0.85 meters in the z direction corresponding to the standard table height. Three examples of coordinates corresponding to three grid points are shown. To be able to import the grid points in Velux Data Visualizer, we need to produce a CSV file where the 121 points are defined by its X, Y and Z coordinates in the first three columns. Be sure to use dot when you are typing numbers in the Excel sheet. We list them in an Excel spreadsheet, but it could be easily done in a text document. It's up to you. Each point is further defined by its vector coordinates and they are listed in the next three columns. The next three numbers, 00 and 1, meaning an upward direction along the z-axis. To verify your sensor point file, open it with notepad. Make sure all numbers are separated with a single space or semicolon. When all grid points are defined in an Excel sheet, save it as a CSV file in a folder where your data visualizer file is saved. Now, the second method will be demonstrated using SU2DS, which is a SketchUp plugin that's been developed to facilitate the analysis of SketchUp geometry using DAISY. It can be downloaded for free. Please check the link in the description. So let's start with create a new layer called work plane. Create a work plane situated 85 cm above the ground. The offset from the wall is in this case 50 cm. Next, go to the plugins tab, choose acid to the S, and then create a some point mesh. Point mesh options will pop up immediately. Now I have to define the name of the layer assigned to the work plane and space it between points. In this case, we can create a very detailed sensor point. So let's set it to 0.1. Press OK and your new sensor point mesh should appear on previously defined work plane. To export sensor points, again, go to the plugins tab, then as you to the yes, but this time choose export daisy header file. Now you have to define project directory, name and order file in the WEA format. You can find the link to the weather file in the description. Choose the weather file, open and press OK. Now export is completed. Exported files you can find in the same folder where your SketchUp file is saved. Go to this folder, right click on PDS file and change manually extension to CSV file. Make sure CSV file is in the same folder where daylight visualizer file is saved. 
check if your video as a file is saved before you go to the next step. Now we are ready to work with Velix Data Visualizer where we import previously created system points. To verify if your file is valid and correctly loaded, check information on the Click Sensor tab. If you choose number of points, you are ready for calculations. Both the standard window with a plan view illustrating the daily factor levels in a room and HDMI file is shown when the results are ready. The file documents the daily factor results for each specific grid point. In the bottom of the file, statistics are summarized as well as the daily factor results are shown in an illustrated grid. The HTML file is saved in the same folder as the Daylight Visualizer file. For more information about the VLX Daylight Visualizer tool and to download your free version, go to thefist.velox.com. Thank you for watching.